talking with Catherine Burgett, who is the CFO of Interroot at the CFO Summit in London. Catherine, you gave a, a talk today about how to uh, save on costs and be more competitive. Tell us what some of the highlights were. I guess I approached that from the history of where Interroot has come from. Um, Interroot was basically relaunched out of um, a restructured uh, business back in 2003. At that time, we inherited a very big fixed uh, line network throughout Europe, which was you know, built at the end of the 1990s with a duct and fibre uh, capability, but which had huge running costs, off, like significant running costs of around 100 million a year, and we had no revenue. So from our perspective, we've both had to grow the revenue line and focus on the top line, but equally, we've had to focus throughout that last 10 years on cost control and ensuring at every angle we minimised uh, the cost of delivering a circuit, of managing a customer and really everything around that both through aggressive negotiation with our suppliers but also through moving a lot of our back office and support out to Eastern Europe uh, because you know salary costs etc are much cheaper there. So for us we've had to constantly sort of focus around that cost area. Where into it is today, we now have a you know a profitable business that turns out around 400 million. Uh, but we, I do feel we're at sort of a crossroads at this point in time, because the way the price decline has been in the industry, particularly in, in the wholesale sector, uh, we're now in a, a situation where we've really got to reappraise and think about the delivery model uh, to customers and the way that we engage with customers, uh, because we've got to just find even more ways to cut costs. So we are now we're starting to think about moving on. We are actually moving more of our business to an online delivery platform, uh, which will enable customers to both buy online and be provisioned online. And that's our kind of our new approach to the world. So you've already made a start. Yeah, that's right. So we launched uh, the Interview Cloud Store uh, at the beginning of this year. So customers now can go onto the website and they can find a link to the Cloud Store and they're able then to build their own solution. So they can buy a server from our VDC platform and then put various applications on top. Now, the, the Cloud Store in itself is in its infancy, uh, but we're adding new product to that all the time. And the, the whole concept is that effectively you remove the engagement of the frontline salesperson, uh, which will ultimately make it a more profitable sell uh, for Interview. Uh, but also allows the customer increased flexibility, which is what we believe they're wanting because the move to the utility-based model is this effectively allows them to do that because they can put up their storage at one point because they know they need more and then reduce it back down again. And they can also switch to move data between different jurisdictions or geographical locations depending where they want to, you know, the particular service to be hosted. So this is definitely a new world that we're entering in. Uh, we can now have the ability to take payment online through credit cards. Um, so we've definitely a new a new area for us. But this is where we believe we have to go because fundamentally uh, the whole cost of delivery, the cost of engaging with the customer has to reduce because it's just it, that is the only way that we're going to be able to survive in a utility based world. Yeah, and you're obviously very involved in this, which brings me to the subject really of today. It's a very rare event to have all these CFOs together. I think it's given a wider perspective of the role of the CFO. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I consider myself, I am an accountant, I'm a qualified um, chartered accountant, did my training with KPMG, but really, I'm not a, what I would think a traditional accountant is, you know, yes, I'm good with numbers, I understand numbers, but my role is, role is so much more commercial. I mean, I spend most of my time being engaged either with suppliers or customers, or I'm liaising with the board, or I'm really acting as sort of a confidence and advisory board to the CEO, to my CEO. Uh, he will more or less run most of his decisions past me, not just to understand the numbers, but also for advice, because I think you're right. I mean, to me today, I have people, you know, I have good accountants who work for me. They produce the numbers, they do, you know, what you consider to be the traditional accounting world of managing cash, of, man of reporting and making sure we provide that information. But my role is much more about helping the business to grow, helping it sort of navigate its way forward and, and move in the right direction. And to give early warnings to sort of the management team of, hey, you know, look, something does, this isn't the right way. I don't think we should be doing this. This for me feels a better thing to be doing. So, you know, I'm definitely an integral part of the management team and not um, someone who sits on the side. So it's definitely, uh, I don't think CFOs today are the traditional accountants of yesteryear. Uh, it's a very, very different role, which actually requires an entirely different skill set as well. Uh, and I think there are some very good accountants out there who will never make a CFO because they're not able to um, sort of work in that more commercial role that is now required. Yeah, it's definitely a changing world out there, isn't it? It is, very much so. OK, well, thanks for talking to us. You're welcome. Thank you.